We now return to VH1's Behind the Music, Dr. Teeth and the Electric Mayhem. It must have been around 1979 when animals started snorting crushed up pieces of felt. Got pretty ugly. Me had big problem before me found God. He like threw me down and he said, I hope your puppeteer has big hands because I'm not using lube. Me no remember that, but me believe it happened. Now this poses a very difficult ethical dilemma. Do I deliver the package to its rightful owner, or do I open it up and see if it contains He-Mans? Do not open that box. You know, Lois, physicists believe there are two alternate universes, one in which I don't open the box, and one in which I do. I'm not going to open the box. I'm going to open the box. Ah, oh, sweet, it's a whip! Why are you looking at me like that? Peter, would you like a glass of... Oh, my God! I told you not to play God with those ants! All right, Meg, stay incredibly still. I'm gonna whip that cigarette out of your mouth and maybe not slice your face in half. Dad, I don't wanna do this. Stay still! Ah! Okay. <laughs> oh, a message from Joe. Hey, Cleveland, I just wanted to give you a heads up that Peter has a whip because, well, you know, given your racial heritage, it seems like something you might wanna keep an eye out for. Grape soda, Graham. I know this is very risky, but the upside is so good, I... Oh, man, I could use a cold beer. Yeah, me too. I just had a killer rehearsal. I'm not biting. Me neither. You forget how many scenes Tevye's in. Whoa, 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 what's this? That's our booth! Uh, uh, excuse me. Hey, fellas. Uh, hey, listen, this is uh, a little awkward, but, uh, you guys are sitting in our booth. We see you losers anywhere near this booth, and we'll bust your kneecaps. We're willing to take that risk. Shut up, Joe. All right. I was hoping it wouldn't have to come to this, but you fellas are in big trouble. If, uh, if you could just move back, like, eight feet. Is that my whip? Hey! Is that my taser? And now, the History Channel presents the guy who lived in between the Hatfields and the McCoys. I'm just going to get my mail, and I'm not going to ask who killed my daughter. It's water under the bridge. I'm just getting my mail. Ah, uh, what happened? I couldn't see. I have no idea. The TV is, like, directly over my head. All I can see are the spider veins of alcoholics wearing... I hate sitting at the bar. I wish we had our old booth back. Well, what are we supposed to do, fight those guys? They would have kicked our asses. <sighs> Peter's right. We've just got to accept the fact that, well, we're... we're kind of cowards. I know. Yesterday, I even went to a Cowards Anonymous meeting. Hello. My name's Cowardly Lion, and I'm a coward. I'm afraid of small dogs, girls with pigtails. I guess you're right. Hey, I'm the Rational Lion. So, f guys. Where is everybody? Oh, yeah, they're dead. All right, flight attendants, please prepare for cross-check. I'm not cross-checking anything. I heard what happened to you with the drunken clam. I'm not doing what you tell me to do. I'll do what he tells me to do. I was in the military for 30 years back when that meant something. I heard about what happened at the clam, and I'm not interested in having sex with a quarter of a man. Hey, I'm half a man. Not anymore. Fine. Well, I'm gonna go sleep on the couch. You need something, Joe? Yes, Elton, I'd like to sleep on the couch. All right, Joe, come on. You put on her bra. I, I don't want to. Well, you're gonna. Everybody heard about what happened over at the clam and how those guys made you their bitch. Um, okay. <laughs> That's right, you wuss. In fact, the way I see it, I'm the man of the house now, which means there's gonna be some big changes around here. <laughs> um, uh, Meg, can you, um... Can you please pass the milk? Shut up, Dad. Okay, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'll shut up. What? She, she's right, Lois, she's right. I, I don't need milk, I'll just moisten my cereal with spit. Mmm, <laughs> mmm, good spit. Peanut, what the hell is going on? Please tell me this isn't still about how you're back. Oh, my God, Lois, you're right. If they see me crying, they'll have to give us our booth back. No, I'm saying you gotta go down there and take it back, like a man. Yeah, I, I mean, I mean, yeah. I am going to the clam and I'm getting my booth back. And Meg, you're gay. No, I'm not. You like guys, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's called being gay. Did something just happened with a rabbit? I'll go get my dad. Listen, you guys, 
I think we're all suffering from what happened down at the clam. Yeah, I had to start taking pills so I'd stop thinking about it. Quagmire, that's a Cialis. That's right. I'm not thinking about it anymore. I'm thinking about that couch. Well, I think we gave up too easy. We need to march back down to the clam and take back what's ours. He's right. Do you mind if I stand next to you while we eat standing? No problem. Hey, let's go grab some good beer, even though we brought the bad beer. And these two barbecue scumbags formed a lifelong friendship until their deaths at the ripe old age of 52 in separate ATV accidents. Oh, now you're gonna get it. Well, I'm out. That was my Pawtucket Patriot sign. I brought it from home. Okay, now I'm starting to doubt everything you said. All right, guys. I know this looks desperate, but I got this can of spinach. Oh, God, it's all watery. You know, I almost said no chairs at the beginning. Haven't you guys have saved in this booth? Hell, I witnessed every significant historical event in my lifetime right here. I was in this booth when the Challenger exploded. Oh, my God, no. I was in this booth on 9-11. Oh, my God, no. I was in this booth when President Obama was elected. Oh, my God, no. So if you want this booth... You're gonna have to pry it from my... If I could touch my own head, I'd salute you. <laughs> With his head, I salute you. Everyone, I declare this to be These Three Guys Day, and not These Three Guys Day. <laughs> We now return to the outlaw Josie Wales. Should we bury him? Nah, leave him for the buzzards. I like that guy. Oh boy, here comes Harry. He thinks no one will notice he got his neck done. Hey, fellas, I'm back from that family wedding. Ugh. Hey, what you watching? Blood Brothers? What the devil is that? Well, it's an ancient ritual where two friends intermingle their blood, thus sealing a bond even deeper than friendship. Yes, yes, let's do that. Brian, I want you inside me. Y you don't have to say it like that. Oh, come on, we're best friends, right? Stewie, I'm not... Actually, we're even more than best friends. I mean, we share the same home. We've been on countless adventures together. And besides, you owe me, Brian. Remember what you did to my lot hands more often. There you go. We're blood brothers now. You happy? Actually, yes. I mean, I really feel the bond, Brian. I feel like we're closer now. You know, more connected, more intertwined. Yeah, I guess in a way we are. Hey, are, are you blood brothers with Meg because you ate her tampon out of the trash? No, that, no, that's, that's something else. Hell? Ow! Ew! What's this? Ah! You son of a bitch! You gave me herpes! What? What are you talking about? When we swapped blood! Stewie, that's crazy. There's no way I gave you herpes. Then how do you explain this? I don't know. You're a gross slut. Look, it, it can't be my fault, Stewie. I don't even have herpes. Oh, yeah? Let me see. Hey, 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 what are you doing? Stop it! Ah! Oh, my God, look at you! You're more herpes than dog! Okay. Yeah, but, you know, I mean, isn't the worst thing about herpes just the stigma? I mean, like, like what if it wasn't called herpes? Like, like what if it was called Bapo? Huh? Oh, I got a little Bapo. Oh, that's cute. Ah, I want Bapo. You know, my uncle was in the army, and he got genital Bapo from a Saigon whore. And... Shut up! Just shut up! You should be ashamed of yourself. I mean, look at me. And on the same day, I'm supposed to help with my friend's wedding invitations. So I was... Whew, what a morning. <laughs> By the time I got done with my pubes, I just didn't feel like shaving anymore. <laughs> hey, Charlotte. That's very cute, Stewie, but if I let you dress up like Hector Elizondo, I have to let everyone. <gasps> oh, my God. Your mouth looks like the underside of a boat. <laughs> 
We now return to Brian Cranston sneezes. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Rupert, you know how we promised never to lie to each other? Well, I lied earlier tonight. It's not a burn from Dunkin' Donuts coffee. You're not alone. Oh, yeah? How so? Good Lord, you've got herpes too? This house is like backstage at a White Snake concert. Not only that, but I also got it from Brian. We're blood brothers too. You. You are? Yup. He knew he had herpes and he didn't say anything. Maybe he was mad I gave him fleas. I don't know. You know, I'm so glad you finally agreed to go out with me, Jenna. Me too. I'm having a really nice time. You seem like a great guy. Yes, thank you. We'll take the table in the corner next to the herpes dog. Oh, hey, Brian. And who's your date? Wow, you must be such a good person to knowingly go out with a herpes-riddled dirtbag. Ew! Stewie! Chris! Yes, Brian? You hacked my Facebook account. Oh, yes, we actually just changed your profile picture. Ah, oh, damn it! Look, look, enough, okay? What the hell do you guys want from me? I want to drive your Prius to the end of the block all by myself. That's it? Yes. Okay. Yay! Well, what about you? I want to go on a date with Nev Campbell so I can give her a nice ladle of stew. What? How am I supposed to even find her? Damn it, Stewie, why are you being so vindictive? Because, Brian, for the first time in my life, I realized I couldn't trust you. I couldn't trust my own best friend. <sighs> uh, I'm sorry, Stewie. So, do you forgive me? Yes, I do. So, I'm gonna have herpes for the rest of my life, huh? Yeah, but most of the time it won't even be an issue. It only really flares up during periods of great stress, like your wedding day or a big job interview. So, what would you say some of your weaknesses are? That, that, that's probably one of them.